John here again and here we are with a new tutorial um, this tutorial was picked by my patrons as they expressed an interest in having a community game development series where everybody pitches in and uh, to build a classic game so I gave them the option of uh, choosing which game and there was a list of games and out of all of the games uh, I think there was Centipede, Defender, um, Hunchback um, ooh, there's a few others as well can't remember anyway the moral of the story is, is that Hunchback won. Most of the most of the people picked uh, Hunchback. So this series is all about creating a Hunchback clone, and I've called it Return of the Return of Quasi. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and build that most famous game you know hunchback one not two but hunchback one and do it as a community thing and so in this video series we're going to um, do the coding we're going to do the graphics we're going to see what people are doing and helping and the first thing we need to do is make sure everybody is using the same tools so we're going what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, set up the development environments in both Linux and Windows to use for this particular project now I'm not going to reinvent the wheel because I've already done some videos about setting up a development environment and that's for the Derek Morris patron uh, lessons. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that development environment and just add a few more bits to it to allow us to um, perform the coding for this particular um, tutorial. I also gave my patrons the choice of assemblers, you know, CC65, CBM Prod, uh, PRG Studio, Kickass, and a few other things, and a choice of text editors like uh, VS Code, uh, Sublime Text, um, Notepad, yeah, and and the winners of those two, two particular polls was Kickass and VS Code. So that's what I'm going to do. It doesn't mean that and that people can't use another text editor or code editor. We just have to use the Kickass Assembler uh, because all the code and the new uh, mnemonics and all that will be in Kickass format. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to extend the Derek Morris development environments for both Windows and Linux to be able to use the Kickass Assembler and VS Code as well. So that's enough of the introduction. This potentially is going to be a long running series and I'm hoping that um, it's going to be one of those series where people um, join in and contribute and get different perspectives so with that I normally start with Windows and I thought for a change let's start with Linux so here let's log in whoops would help if I type the right password in there we go so there we go this is the Derek Morris Ubuntu um, dev box and to make Kickass work we need to install both Java and Kickass 
So we're going to have to install the Java system. So we're just going to go straight to Java. So we'll fire up the browser and just type in Java. See if they know exactly what we want. Look at that, download Java. So I'm going to click download Java and we're going to go, yeah. Spanish? Why am I in Spanish? English, please. English. Thank you. Why was I in Spanish? Oh well, never mind. So, we're going to download Java. And of course, it's telling us which version. So, hmm. Which version should we go for? Uh, that one? That one? We'll go for that one. I don't know what it is, so we'll go for that one. So we're gonna save it. And then when it's finished say, loading, we're gonna open it. Okay. I don't like that one. Let's do this one then. Okay. Ooh, why ain't it installing for me? I know. I know. I might step ahead of myself. Let's. Uh, I think I'm a step ahead of myself. Yes, I am. Like a Wally. I need to do it from here. That's it. So. Keep forgetting to use sudo app get. Right, so here we go. So we're going to do sudo app install jar, uh, open Java development kit headless. So here we go. So and away we go. Yes, please. It's better. Much better. Right, to test it, if I go Java, it should. There we go. So we now have got Java installed. So what we need to do is we need to download the Kickass assembler. So let's do this. So Kickass. Well, it's not one of those. Assembler. There we go. So click on that, download Kickass, save the file. Then we go into downloads, and there's Kickass. Then we go and extract here. That'll do me. So cut that and paste it into here. There we are, kick assembler. And that has got now the kick assembler in there. Okay, and there is a manual. And we'll be referring to this quite a lot because I'm new to kick and and I presume a lot of people that are new to kick, so I'm so that's where the the, uh, the manual is. So now we just need to fire Visual Studio up. Because we need to install the extension. 
So here we go. And that's loading one of Derek's uh, Derek's uh, close folder. Come on. Thank you. Right. So click on extensions and we can type in kick ass. And this is the one we want. Kick ass open bracket C64. And you'll see why in a minute. So we'll click install. There we go. And now we need to configure it. So if we go into settings, click extensions, and then there's kickass 64. We need now need to put in all the paths to where our software is. So this is the C64 debugger. So if we go into here, the C64 debugger, I think is there, yeah. So that's home emulation. Let's do properties. So it's that with emulators on the end. So that emulators. And then we need to tell it what the file name is and it's that so we'll rename that so we can grab it put it into here and that's c64 debugger done java because it's in the path it's fine i mean to be honest that should have worked because it's in i think it's in the path but never mind um then the kickass assembler. So we've put that in a different place. So here we go. So properties. Home John kick assembler. So kick assembler. So let's do that. Kick assembler, kick ass jar, kick assembler, kick ass jar, yep. Yeah. And then the last thing is vice. Now I think that is in the path. So if we just type in x64, x64, I think that's in the path. Yes, it is. There we go. So we don't need to do that. So We've shown that uh, Vice can fire. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna create a new file. We're going to tell it it's C64 kick assembler. And we're going to just make a quick program to test out. So that's basically right. So we need to save that. Save that as test. Save it in my documents. Set. And now we do Shift Control P and then kick. And you can see we can build and run by using Control and F5. So here we go. So Control F5, oops, needs to be on the right extension, kick, Control and F5, there you go, and that is using kick, ooh, that's struggling. So there you go. So we've now set up the Linux system to be able to use the sort of things that we want to do. And we'll get into the configuration of kick and stuff like that once I understand how it all works. So that is the Linux system set up and built. So we've got, let's see, let's close the settings down. Let's load the file again. Open 
file. Oops, I think it was audio. Cancel. Oh no, file. Open file. Test. And we should have source control, but I don't think, no, it's not there. But I do believe it is on Derek's, let's have a look, lesson one. Yes, it is. So I've already, we've already got Git on here. And so we'll be able to do all that with um, the source control. Right, so I've, that's Linux. Let's get um, Windows set up, shall we? Right, here we go. Here's the Windows system. And it's got to do the same thing here as well. So we've got to install Java. So Java. Download Java for Windows. Oh, I'm in English way. Right, here we go. <laughs> That's the hot water pump. Let this get this installed. Three billion devices run Java. Who would have thought it? Come on. There we go. Thank you very much. So if we run command prompt, type in Java, we should have, yep, exactly the same thing. And so now we've got to go to kick ass yeah so so we'll do the same thing again download okay so open folder and we will extract it here Cut that and paste it into here. That's it. So, and we've already got um, debugger on here. So we just need to set up Visual Studio. So let's set up Visual Studio, shall we? Wow, my voice went really low then. <laughs> Release notes 421. Ooh. Right. So. Kick ass. Should be the same one. There it is. Install. So we have to do the same thing. You have to go into settings. Extensions, kick ass, and we have to do the same thing. So, this is C64 debugger, so we need to find where that is. And I think it's in Vice. Yes, it is. So, C64 debugger. .exe. Thank you, Microsoft. For letting me know. Now Kickass is in here. So we will copy that and paste that into here. And change that. And 
advice is here. X64 is there, yep. Yeah. So we'll copy that and paste it into, whoops, paste it into there. Hit do that and then put dot exe at the end. Sorted. So we'll do the same thing again. New file. We're going to tell it it's kick ass. Oh, missed it. There. We're going to copy the same program as before. We'll save it on to my documents. Test. There we go. And of course, it's gone back to that. We need to send it to Kickass and it's Control and F5 again. up C64 debugger and there you go so there we go so we've set up Windows we've set up um, Linux this should still have the source control on it so let's uh, open up lesson one Yep, so source controls on it. So what, what we're going to do, so with the, because uh, Git's on there and everything, that is done. So it's, what, 26 minutes now. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that there. So we've set up the development environments. The next thing we need to do is, I basically, I think I need to teach you some of the things about the tool. So I think we'll do Git next and then we'll learn the fundamentals of kick ass assembler between us because i'm still a noob at it i've got to print out the manual and we'll take it from there and then we'll look at hunchback and what we need to do and stuff like that so there you go episode one well hey new new tutorial really excited hope the guys are right if you like this video hit that like button if you didn't like the video fine hit the dislike button always leave me a comment I try and answer them all and if you like what I do and you'd like to support the channel consider becoming a patron of mine all the money made by patron is used for this channel and with that I'll see you, I'll, I'll say I'll see you in the next video take care bye I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.